Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Ernest Africano, an internist and cardiologist, and I would like to talk to you today about calcium. Calcium is a very important mineral for our health. It's important for bone formation and bone maintenance, but also is important in many other parts of our body. Our muscles, for example, use calcium and in the mechanism of contraction. And that applies to skeletal muscle as well as cardiac muscle. Calcium also participates in many different chemical reactions in our body. So it is a vital and very important mineral. We get calcium in our diet. Many diets, many foods are actually fortified with calcium. But also sometimes it becomes necessary to take calcium as a supplement. Women in, uh, in around, or after their menopause um, need calcium supplementation because they are more prone to develop osteoporosis which predisposes to fractures. Uh, but which calcium preparation to use or to take? When you go to the pharmacy, you'll find many different types of uh, calcium products. It's not an easy decision to make. Do you buy something that is inexpensive or something that is expensive? Um, calcium comes in many different types of pills, many colors, and really it's, it's very bewildering um, and difficult to make a decision as to which product to buy. What I'd like to do today is demonstrate or show you three different preparations of calcium. Um, two of these you find in, in the drugstore very commonly. You find them just about everywhere you go, at grocery stores, etc. And this third preparation actually is available uh, from a company called Market America and it is an isotonic uh, product. Isotonic means that when it's dissolved in water, it actually has the same pressure or, or, or yeah, concentration as our body fluids. And that has some advantages as I will show you. But what I'd like to show you today is um, a particular feature about calcium. And I'm going to start by taking a couple of pills of this particular preparation. And actually I'm going to crush them so that we can dissolve them in water. I'm going to put them in, in, this, in this crusher. And we're going to do our best to turn them into powder, which is not an easy task, actually, as I found out. It takes really a lot of pressure to, to crush these tablets. Now, commercial calcium tablets are usually made with binders and fillers and coatings, which, I guess, give the tablet its integrity and form and shape, but also present some challenges for the gastrointestinal tract that makes it difficult sometimes for the stomach and intestine to break these down and absorb the calcium that is in the tablet. That is really a challenge. Sometimes, especially for elderly patients um, who have an intestinal tract that may not be quite as, as robust or as functional as a younger person's, they, they may have trouble actually absorbing the calcium that they take in their tablets. Sometimes uh, the tablet can take as long as three or four hours to, to dissolve. Okay, we'll put the rest of it here. I spilled a little bit, so we'll go ahead and pour some of it back in. Okay, so that's this one. Now we'll go for this one, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, there's a little bit more left here, so we'll, we'll put it here. Okay. Good. Okay, we'll shake the excess here. Good. Now we'll put these two tablets here. We'll do the same thing. We'll crush them in a little crusher here, which is actually a garlic crusher, but it works quite as well with just about anything you want to crush. But again, it's, it's hard to, to break these pills. It's hard to get them to, to pulverize. Okay, let's...
Okay, we'll pour the rest here. Uh, okay, we'll get them to dissolve in water, which is really the, the objective here. Okay. Okay. Now, the third preparation actually comes already in a powder. And this is the isotonic, uh, the, the brand is isotonics, uh, but it's really a play on a word because uh, what, what, what the name implies is that it's uh, isotonic and we usually use about a teaspoonful of this. It pours fairly easily into the spoon. It has a little yellowish tint to it. Put it there. Okay. And now we're ready to put the water. I'll just take this bit. Yeah, okay, that's, that's about right. I will put the same amount on this glass. And now we'll stir. Now this one is fizzing. This one fizzes. A little yellowish tint and actually it's very pleasant to the taste. Very easy to swallow. And as I said before, it is isotonic, which means that when you dissolve it in, in water, it has to be a precise amount, two ounces of water per teaspoonful. It it becomes isotonic to your body fluids. It means that the body recognizes it as something already digested and ready to absorb. And in fact, studies show that it is absorbed about 95 to 98% in less than 10 minutes. So, so that is a definite advantage of this product as opposed to these tablets, which sometimes can take hours for it to dissolve and be absorbed. But what I like to do is use this electrical contraption here which is actually a circuit that is hooked up to a light bulb. And I'm going to demonstrate that in fact it is live. There's electricity going through these wires and when we close the circuit, actually I expect that bulb to light. And let's see if that's true. Yep. Okay, so we have a live circuit here. Okay, now what I'd like to show you is, first of all, we're gonna find out if any of these products conduct electricity, and as I said, we're trying to make a point here, so bear with me. We're going to put this, first of all, it's live. So we'll put one wire here, which represents one pole, and the other pole here, and nothing happens. Okay? Nothing happens. Okay, so this calcium preparation does not conduct electricity. Okay. Let's just show take these off and we'll go to the next calcium preparation and again we're live still electricity going through the circuit we'll put one cable first and then the other one and the light bulb does not light okay so this one again does not conduct electricity now we're going to shake the, the water off and again now we're going to try our isotonic preparation. I'll put first one pole and then we'll put the other pole. And lo and behold, this calcium preparation does conduct electricity. Okay, amazing. Don't try this at home, by the way. Okay, but what, what have I just done? I, I have shown you that the isotonic calcium preparation conducts electricity. Now, why is that? Well, this particular product has calcium that is really in an ionic form, in an ionic form. The ionic form of the calcium really is, is the calcium that participates in all these chemical reactions in the body. It's the one that the body utilizes. It. So it's readily available for use. Um, on this side, this calcium does not conduct electricity. So it's actually bound and, and really not available. It has to be processed, digested, uh, and absorbed. So it's not as readily available, really, bottom line. Here we have a calcium that is isotonic, has the same pressure as your body fluids, 
is readily absorbable, 98% in 10 minutes, and is ready to be used for whatever the body needs it for. And the proof is that it, it, it does conduct electricity, it means it's in a psionic form. Thank you for your attention.